What's going on guys, Envy Astro here, back at it again with another video. So as you could probably tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your turtle mode on 3.2 beta flight. So yes, if you guys haven't seen our last video where we showed you guys the turtle mode working on KISS firmware on RC25, uh, go check it out. I'll link it somewhere here on the screen for you guys. But um, yes, on that last video we also mentioned that Betaflight 3.2 was having some issues with their turtle mode recently and it even almost caused me to burn up a motor but uh, I recently checked and they have a newer RC version it's called RC4 I'll also be showing you guys my screen that way you guys could download it and um, I'll be showing you guys how to basically set it all up for Betaflight and what ESC settings you want to have so let's go ahead and jump right into my computer screen Okay, so first off, let's start off with the download that you want to do. So you could use your regular Betaflight configurator, that's okay. But uh, on Google, you want to type in Betaflight 3.2 firmware. And uh, I'll also be putting a link of this down in the description below. That way you guys could just click on the description and go straight to the link. But basically, this is the 3.2 Betaflight RC4 where they seem to fix the turtle mode for Betaflight. And it also added a few changes, and I believe they added the anti-crashing or whatever that thing is called. So basically right here, this is all the different versions that they have them for different flight controllers. And you just want to download the one that corresponds to whichever flight controller you have. And in my case, I happen to have the Lux V2 Race. So I would click on this, but I already have it downloaded. So all we have to do is download it and then once we have that downloaded you want to load your firmware locally and then see it's already here the beta flight 3.2 you open that and since i already have it flashed on my quad i don't need to do that so i'll show you guys real quick so as you can see i'm running beta flight 3.2 right there this is pretty much all set up and ready to go so um before we get started with the setup on Betaflight and like the settings you want to have, let's go ahead and jump to BioHeli because you will want to have your D-Shot compatible ESCs enabled to, in order to do this. So let's go ahead and show you guys what to do on BioHeli. Okay, so for BioHeli, be sure to have your props off as you a lot of you guys should already know. You want to have your props off here. So these are pretty much my settings for BioHeli. So that's currently reading my setup. All right, here it is. So this is basically stock. The only thing I usually change here is I turn on my brake on stop and uh, I lower the beep strength and the beacon strength. And then my beacon delay, I'd put it to two minutes. That way if I lose my quad out on the field or whatever, it's easier to find. But basically right here, guys, you wanna have a ESC that is D-Shot compatible and notice how I have 16.66 comma 16.67 underscore D shot command. So that is basically what you want to have in order for the turtle mode to work. Because I did have a friend that had this version right here, the D shot commands. So basically you will be able to do the turtle mode, but it just won't be reliable. It won't flip over every single time. It, some motors will reverse, some others won't. And as soon as he flashed to the BL Heli multi shot, he was able to have turtle mode 100% of the time without any failures or anything like that. It was actually reliable. And even though it says multi-shot, it'll give you those D-shot commands. But since mine are already flashed to that, I don't have to worry about it. And that's basically what you want to do for BioHeli. Pretty much have the newest firmware available for your ESC. And um, after that, we want to come back to Betaflight. And basically you want to reset your flight controller from like a brand new one. So whatever you are corresponds to your a serial RX. For configuration tab, you of course want to turn on D-Shot. I have D-Shot 600 on. Uh, for my idle, I believe stock is like 4.5, but I usually change it to 1.5. Um, motor direction is reversed. I'm obviously running reversed props. Usually I'm running 8K gyro and 8k pid loop here for my flight controller because that is capable of doing so and then receiver i have it set to s of course for pid tuning these are pretty much my pids and my rates and stuff nothing important there but this is the important part right here so 
arm, you want to have that on aux one. I have it mine set to high values. And then air mode, since I fly with air mode, I also have that set to aux one. So when I arm, uh, it automatically turns on my air mode. And you want to scroll down here where it says D shot reverse motors. And this, you want to set it on aux two. So you want to set up a switch on your Tyrannus or Spectrum, whatever you guys have on aux two. That way, this will basically be where it reverses your props. And um, I'll go ahead and turn on my Tyrannus. Welcome to your FTX. Switch warning. Switch warning. So basically what this is doing is um, right now it's armed. My quad is armed. And then as soon as I hit the switch, I enable the D-Shot reverse motors. And then when I arm again, that's basically reversing my motors and allowing me to go back to turtle mode and um, you only want to enable that of course when you're upside down because it's going to reverse the motors that way it'll allow you to flip back over and that's basically all you want to do on beta flight as well so just set up your arm switch and then set up your d-shot reverse motors and that's all you want to do here and um, yeah guys so let's go ahead and show you guys how turtle mode works on beta flight because it's actually working pretty good now so let, let's go ahead and show you guys real quick okay so i have my battery plugged in this here is bounded with my quad and this here is my arm switch so i'm gonna go ahead and arm so let me show you guys real quick so so it's flying and let's say we flip over so let's go ahead and flip it over all right so we're flipped over right there this right here is usually my arm switch so this is my aux one this right here, I set my aux 2 and that is the D-Shot commands in order to enable the turtle mode. So you want to flip this and that means that my D-Shot commands and turtle mode is enabled now. So now, once that happens, I want to arm my quad. So I'll arm it and notice how, I don't know if it's focusing. Okay, so it's not focusing because of the lights, but basically once you have the D-Shot commands on, you want to arm and then you want to just flip it back over and then disarm and then once it's disarmed you want to disable the aux 2 which is d-shot commands and then you want to rearm again and then you get back up so i'll go ahead and demonstrate that one more time so we're here we flip Second. over so you of course disarm since you're flipped over you enable the d-shot commands and then you arm again and then 20. there we go again and now we disable the D-Shot commands and then we get back to it and we're back up. Nine. And that right there is turtle mode working on beta flight. So if you guys found this video helpful with setting up turtle mode on beta flight, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys still have any questions or any concerns with the 3.2 beta flight and turtle mode and all of that, be sure to comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And don't forget to subscribe and see you guys on the next one. Peace out.